What are you doing the morning of July 26th? Hmm, let me think. Hmm, hmm. we're all kind of dressed alike. Hmm. Well, we've got something for you to do that it's fun, it's good for you, it'll make you healthy, and it's going to help one of our largest nonprofits that we all support here in Marstown. With me today, I've got Cookie Larkin and Ronnie Reed from Out Center. And if you didn't know, I'm Jill Bruce Cunningham here with Channel 7, Marstown TV Today. We want to tell you about this event that's coming up. Cookie, tell us all about it. And I can't remember what number this is of the walk. Thank you, Jill, for having us. It is the 23rd annual Walk to Remember. And uh, as Ronnie will agree with me, we have to have this largest fundraiser of the year to keep our doors open to serve the caregiving families in this county and the surrounding counties. And we serve folks of all ages and uh, who have all sorts of issues or problems that might make it really tough for them to be home alone during the daytime. And their families can still work if they bring their loved one to our center. And this is a great day. Saturday morning, 8 o'clock, you leave from uh, the center on Daisy Street and walk through Old Town uh, about a mile down to Rusty Wallace dealership on King Avenue and turn around and come back. It's a two mile round trip, very easy walk. It's early, it's easy, it's quick. And Ronnie, I'd say about nine or 9.30, we've we've done awards and everybody's ready to go home so you can still get on with your family activities for the day. But it is so important to us. And uh, we have a wonderful shirt this year, actually. uh, Yes, actually, uh, Ronnie designed this shirt for us and it's wicking fabric, it's very cool, and it's in smoky gray. And you know what that means, that's a a good color for Tennesseans. And uh, we're real (laughs) excited about our shirt. If you donate as much as $50, you get a shirt just like we are all wearing today. Jill, I've Jill already did made it. my donation. She I'm there. Did. And if you want to put a team together to walk, we would love that. But if you just want to walk alone or bring some family members to walk with you, some friends, that's just great too. You know, this is great. I ask her one question and I don't, I don't get to say another <laughs> word. Ronnie, do you have anything to, to add to this, like the activities after we get back? Well, we'll have a silent auction that will follow after the walk, but that shouldn't take long neither. And right. be right out of there, short and sweet. That's how we like it. It is great. It is an easy walk. You can walk at your own pace. You can run if you wanted to. We'll put you in the front of the pack, though. And uh, But you go through some of historic downtown Marstown, so it's beautiful. There's a lot of very familiar faces that we see on the walk, and we look forward to some of them. They have water that they give out on the walk. And, again, this is a huge, huge fundraiser for Alps, and we do want to support it. They're completely supported by all the fundraising events that they have. And you are the marketing director, correct? Yes, and uh, and, and we also want to thank United, our United Way folks because that's great support we get from United Way too. We are very fortunate to be a United Way agency. And Ronnie is our family services manager. He also has a great caregiving class that he shares and teaches, and he also runs a support uh, group. So it's it's a big team effort every year. But uh, remember that date. It's Saturday morning, July 26. It's just around the corner, eight o'clock. 8 o'clock Saturday morning, we'll be there. We'll be done by 10 o'clock. We can go to the Waffle House. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that, am I? (laughs) Afterwards and eat maybe. No, but yes, it's a great thing for a great cause. So we hope that you'll come help support Alps, and we're going to look for you there with Marstown TV Today, Channel 7.